Hey guys, we are starting our new uh, journey together. Mara making the Everlasting Bundle, which is the Everlasting and the Mini Everlasting together in one album. So it's the overall size of the uh, big Everlasting. So let me show you. So that's a heavy sucker. So it's actually gonna be the overall size is gonna be this size, but we are gonna be combining uh, these two. Whoa, what is that? Oh, <laughs> we are gonna be combining these two sizes together, okay? So today is the first page, um, and I actually have already filmed it, and I wanted to show you what the page is gonna look like once we're done, and then um, I'll tell you all the pages and things that you're gonna need. How about that? So this is what the page is gonna look like when we're all finished with the front. We're doing the front side um, of the first page. So doesn't that look cool? So this is where we're going. This is where we're headed. So it's just to give you an idea of um, when I show you all the pages you're gonna need um, and the pieces and parts and whatnot. So that way you um, have a better, a clearer picture of, of where we're going. Isn't that pretty? I'm loving, loving, loving the way this has already turned out. I mean, I, I'm just totally digging it so pretty so we used bits of all kinds of stuff so if any if you don't have any of this stuff maybe this will at least give you some inspiration um, to dig into your stuff and use it in ways that you may not normally be used to using it okay so just on with the video today is the first day we're going to be starting on the first page and i'm going to do it um front page one day you know the back of the page or the front of the first page one day, the back of the page another day, but we're gonna complete it hopefully from beginning to end. You know, we're gonna put the ephemera on it, we're gonna put the embellishments, maybe flowers, all of that jazz. So that's what my plan is. So I'm also gonna tell you uh, at the beginning of each video which pages I'm using because, um, and I've already got them printed out onto the papers. And the reason I did this is because we've, we've you know, done, you know 30 some odd videos using the everlasting and i've showed you exactly how to uh, make everything uh, all the pages how to put them together you know how to cut your paper down all that jazz so we've already done all that so i'm trying to like speed up the process a little bit um this time around and maybe do a little bit more of a creative part of it you know we're um trying to figure out different ways to put things together and and different embellishing uh things and just thought processes and all of that so that's what i'm going to try to do for this mini album uh, that we're starting today so um if you haven't seen the video that i just posted where I was talking about how I prep for my um, videos when I start to make a mini album, how I prep and what I get ready. Um, you may wanna check that out. I will link that in the description box below. I will also link my templates and anything else that I use. In the video, I will try to do my best to link it below in the description box. So um, I, did, I did go ahead and take the six by six paper pad and I pulled out one of each pattern uh, for the six by six paper pad as well. I did that with the 12 by 12. This is the Zella Teal paper collection. So um, I went ahead and did that with the six by six paper pad too. I just wanted to let y'all know that real quick. And then, um, yeah, so let's just, let's just get going here. So I already told you in, in the last video the different things that I was gonna be using, like the new muted backgrounds and the build embellishments, uh, set two and set three. And I also wanted to point out too that um, as I got to look in the build embellishment set one um, that a lot of you already have will also work with this paper line. So I went ahead and printed those off. I didn't cut them out, but I did print them off for just in case. Okay, so um, which pages you're gonna be needing in the larger Everlasting, the um, page number two. And this is one of the pages from the paper line. And let me just show you, just a quick reminder, I'm not gonna do this every time. So this is a 12 by 12 sheet of paper, or sheet of the uh, pattern paper that I cut down. Uh, remember I take it and I cut it down to eight and a half by 11, because that is the printer size that we use here in the states and now if you are uh, somewhere else and you use a, a different size of paper then cut your paper down to that size 
and make sure that when you when you're printing it that you can see the most of the image <laughs> I say most because sometimes like for example you can't see the tabs the full tab on each one of these but it will if you unclick fit to page it will shrink it just slightly and it'll just be tiniest bit smaller than mine so um, I get asked that quite a bit and I just kind of reminder okay so I cut it down so I cut it down to eight and a half and then I cut it down to eleven so I went ahead and grabbed one of my uh, scrapper keeper um, pages so I'm gonna go ahead and keep all my scraps in a safe location and I also got another page that I made a long time ago and I will link the video below um, how to make a scrapper keeper or how I made my scrapper keeper let me show you to you real quick just so it looks familiar so you can see it in the thumbnail it looks like that so this page um, I did a little bit different where I made it to where I have three pockets where I can stick uh, random bits so I went ahead and pulled both of these pages out of my scrapper keeper so that I can be a little bit more neat about all of the scraps because I want to use as many of them as I possibly can okay so back to the pages so in the everlasting we're gonna need page number two and I printed the wood background design let me take my post-it note I printed the wood background design onto the pattern paper and I printed it in grayscale instead of the original color which is the brown I printed it in grayscale so you're gonna need one of these and let me put my post-it note back on there and then you're gonna need page number eight in the everlasting which is this one and again I printed the wood background and this color is from the muted backgrounds that I just released from this set of printables and it's number two so what I do is I print off the number two muted background first then I run it through my printer again and I print it page number eight onto um, onto the muted background so this was just printed onto 110 pound white cardstock you can use 65 use what you have you don't have to use 110 pound that's just what I like um, and I have a laser printer so that's where the shine's coming from um, so anyway so we're going to use this pocket on this page so you're going to need one of those and then this is from the oh wait let me let me scooch back here Let's finish. This is the insert. This is page number 10, still in the everlasting. Page number 10, I printed it uh, off in the wood on the back side of that. Now, I don't know what I did here. I, that feels like glue, but I'm going to leave it. It's fine. I'll cover it up. But this is page number 12 in the muted backgrounds. So I just, it's the pink color. So I just printed the wood background on the opposite side. Um, this is the insert that's going to go in that pocket that I just showed you. Okay, and so then in the mini, the mini everlasting, back here I printed, uh, this is page number 12 again in the muted background. I printed that off. I printed page number four in the wood background onto the um, muted background there. And then I pulled out this sheet from the six by six paper pad and then this sheet from the six by six paper pad and we're going to be tracing on those two so i'll explain more about that when we get there all right i am when it, when i do have to trim something just slightly different i am going to show you what i'm doing um i didn't print the other part of this page because that'll be in another video so we're going to complete this side of this page in this video so what i want you to do is um we're going to leave one of these longer tabs on and we're going to cut the other one off and the reason i'm leaving this one on is i'm going to actually have this as my spine and my pocket is going to go here and the patterns were just too matchy matchy on the wood so that's why i'm leaving this one on i'll show you i'll show you in a better detail here in just a sec so i'm going to cut the excess paper off of the bottom and then i'm going to cut one of these flaps off right and i'm going to leave this one on so I'm going to cut the excess off. I even wrote it down so that I wouldn't forget that that's what I was doing. <laughs> okay, so and then I'm going to trim my corners. 
and then I'm going to score along all three of these lines, right? And then that'll be ready to go. So there's that one. And then the rest of them are pretty straightforward. I'm going to go ahead and cut this pocket away from the belly band. We're going to use this belly band um, maybe on the back side of this page. I haven't decided yet. We'll see. Um, and then I'm going to cut the bows off. And the same thing, um, I'm just going to go through and I'm going to trim all of these corners off. And then I'm going to score the score marks and get them ready and prepped to go. And then this is, then I'm going to cut this out fully. And then, let's see, this one, I'm going to cut this one out fully as well. And I'm going to go ahead and score them and get them ready to go. And then I'll be right back. Okay, I've got these together, or together, I got these cut out and I've got them scored, but I did want to, I had forgotten that I was doing this. I've got my little post-it notes to try to help me remember what I have planned here, but I don't need this tab here. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut that off of the smaller main base page like that. So then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some, uh, let's see, some score tape, some sequin score tape, and I'm going to go ahead and put tape on the areas that need it. So these are Tim Holtz tonic scissors. This, uh, this, this one's too big for that edge, but the only edge that I don't want you to put score tape on that has a flap is this one right here. So this was, this is going to be the spine. Don't put any tape on this piece, this little tab, but you put tab, but, but put tape on the top and the bottom. So I'm going to do that and then I will be right back. Okay, so I've got this one. It's got the tape on there. This one's got the tape top and bottom. And then this pocket's got tape all the way around it. So the next thing we want to do is this is actually going to be a flip pocket page. So it's going to go here. And actually, it's going to be this way because what we're going to do is we're going to attach this to the 6x6 six six, uh, patterned paper here. So I think... Um, this is the side I want on top, so I want it to be like this. I'm trying to figure out which way I want the pattern to go. Um, I think I'll do it this way. So I'm going to flip it to the back side here, and I'm going to attach it down. First, I'm going to I'm going to burnish this a little bit. This is a Teflon bone folder um, that I'm using, and then I'm going to go ahead and take the score tape off here. And I'm going to match up this bottom edge and the side edge there. The wood grain doesn't have a direction, so you uh, can't go wrong there. Okay, so I'm going to flip that open and I'm going to attach this down here. I'm going to go ahead and give it a good burnish. Now, what I should have done before I trimmed this edge out, I should have attached it first and then trimmed it out together. But since I didn't, we're going to go ahead and just trim this edge out using some scissors. These are Cutter B uh, scissors. So you just take your time. It is a lot easier if you once you put it together and then trim this edge out. And if you use like the Tim Holtz tonic scissors, it'll go through both layers just fine. Um, but I forgot that. I even wrote that on the note to myself, my little post-it note. So I didn't even follow my own post-it note. <laughs> okay. So now we have something that looks like this. And I do believe it's upside down. But it's just, it doesn't matter. It's just a floral, so it's fine. So it's going to go here. So now what I want to do is, since I left this flap here, I'm trying to decide where exactly I want. I think I'm going to try to shoot for the center here. And I'm going to mark it with a pencil. The edge here and this edge here. 
right there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut to that pencil mark that I just made. I'm going to cut it at a diagonal like that. And then I'm going to trim that little extra piece off like that. So I'm going to do that over here as well. Just like that. Okay. So now we've got a place for this flip pocket page to attach down to. So it's going to go right there. Well, maybe. I might have to do a little bit more trimming. No, there we go. So it's going <laughs> to... It's not cooperating. There we go. So it's going to look like that, right? So that looks pretty cool. So now what we need to do is we're going to put some tape on both sides of this little tab here. Try not to get it too close to that score mark. Um, you don't want to go over it because you don't want things to get stuck. I'm going to flip it over and we're going to put it, almost put it too close to the score mark. And we're going to put it on both sides, front and back of that tab. Just like that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to slide this puppy on here. We're going to take one side off. Oh, you know what? No, we're not. We're not going to do that yet. First thing we're going to do is I'm going to put that back on because I forgot we need to ink first. If I can, I was just, I was getting excited. Okay. So this is the ink I'm using. Distress Oxide and a Tim Holtz blending tool. And what you want to do is you want to go and ink all of the edges. Just like this, easy peasy. And you wanna do that to all the pieces that you've got. But I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna do the pieces that I gotta to put together first, and then we'll come back and do the inserts. So front and back of that, and then we don't have to do the front. We do need to do this side of this tab though, just in case it's seen. But then we wanna go through and ink the edges of this main base here. And we're going to ink this one as well, all the edges. So I'm going to do that and be right back. So now everything's inked and now we can put things together. <laughs> Let me take this back off. Now remember, this is going to be towards the inside. So this is the color, this is the pattern that's going to be on the outside. So I'm going to line it up this way, I think. And I'm going to not go all the way to the edge. There we go. And it just went all the way to the edge anyway. I'm going to pull it back just a hair. And press it down. So when it flips, it looks like this. So then you want to just reach in here and grab that other piece of paper backing on the tape, press it down, and then burnish it. So now we have a flip pocket page. Isn't that cute? So this is the main base in the Mini Everlasting. This is the main base option B. So this is the main base option A in the Everlasting. So now let's go ahead and add this pocket. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tack these um, sides to the bottom here or the back. I just I didn't burnish these very good. And then I'm going to remove the tape. You can use glue stick, the glue stick trick if you would like. And that is going to go, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Just to give me a minute, just a little bit of wiggle room. This is just cheapy glue stick from Hobby Lobby, no big deal. And this pocket's gonna go right here. So I'm gonna line it up to the edge, like that. And I'm gonna match it up, hopefully, top and bottom. It should fit perfectly. And it does. So it looks like that. So now we have this. 
مثلا نیست So this is what we have. So we have this flip pocket page and then we have a pocket. Okay, so now let's work on the inserts. This one I've already got cut out. So this one, I think it's gonna go like this. I just need to ink it. And I'm gonna have to do something to disguise that. Whatever that whatever I did there, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to fix it. So then this will go in here like this. So it looks like that now. So now this one, this is the insert for the main base, option B, in the middle, in the middle, in the mini. So the insert for that that we're gonna use is on page uh, seven. So what I did, is you can't see it, that's what I did. So this is page seven. And so normally it just looks like this where I've got the mat for page seven stuck there. Well, I went ahead and printed off page seven and um, itself because we're gonna, whoops, one of my little bow pieces. Like this. So I just printed me off one onto uh, cardstock and cut it out. And I'm just going to trace this onto this patterned paper from the six by six. That's what's on the back side. So this one is going to, let's see. I'm just gonna lay it down here like this. And then I'm just gonna trace it out with a pencil. Oh, <laughs> I pushed a little too hard all the way around. And then I'm gonna stick this back in here because we won't need that for now. Back into my workbook. I will also link that video below how to how I made my workbook. And then I'm just gonna trim this out with my scissors. And I'm gonna ink it up on both sides and then I'll be back. Okay, so I inked this insert and this insert of both sides, front and back. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and stick them in here because the next step is the embellishing part. So I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna use anything like a magnet or anything to hold this down. I don't think I will. Um, I think it'll be just fine. Once we put some embellishments on here, I think that it will, uh, it will be just fine. It's not gonna flop around because it's not like, you know, super small or anything. But look at how that looks already. Isn't that cool? So we've got the flip pocket page and then we've got the pocket. So I really like, I really like the wood background um, design with this paper line. I think it's really looking good. And I like the uh, muted uh, backgrounds that I made. I think they're working perfectly with the paper line as well. So let me get some of my embellishing stuff and we will start playing. You guys, I didn't even think about it, but this time of year, with it being so close to Christmas, my dog just flipped out because I just received a delivery. And if that happens again, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just happened to not have the camera on when that happened. But if it does happen while the camera's on, I will stop and edit that out as best I can. Um, but I didn't even think about it that this is the time of year that that's going to start happening. So, and even if it's being delivered to someone else's house, um, she will, if she's there and sees it, she will definitely bark. So, anyway, so if that happens, I do apologize in advance. So, uh, I decided I wanted to start with the insert because I want to try to cover this up right here. So, I'm going to set this part aside. Whoa! <laughs> Throwing stuff. I'm gonna set that aside for just a second because I do. I want to. I want to cover this mess up that I don't even know where it came from, or how it happened. Uh, I'm doing really good about keeping stuff uh, put away, so um, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened there. But anyway, so I was trying to find something um, while my dog was barking to go here, and I think um, I think I'm gonna use one of my long pieces of ephemera from the build embellishment sets the new ones that i just released so i'm just trying to figure out which one um i think i might want to use that one looks pretty cute 
Um, what about this one with the paper clip? I can show you guys a cute little idea with this one. So, um, that covers it up. And if I leave it as a tuck, that would be cute. So then let's see. Um, I've got all of these. I've got all of these uh, embellishment pieces from the embellishment pack. So it might be kind of cute to tuck something under there. Sorry, my phone keeps going off too. I'm not, oh, I know what's going on. <laughs> I just released my new things. That's what's going on. Um, I was thinking about adding something. So I was, here's my idea. I'm just going to go ahead and show you. Um, this is so cute. Since there's a little paper clip there, right? Uh, I'm going to just cut around this little paper clip just a little bit. You, you, of course, can use a real paper clip if you want to, but I just think this is a cute little uh, detail that you could just take advantage of. And then I'm, gonna, I'm not going to cut all the way to the edge, but I'm just going to cut like around it just a little bit. And I think it would be cute to like take one of these pieces and like stick it under there like that. Kind of like it's paper clipped on there. Do you know what I mean? But maybe not that piece because I think it'll clash a little bit with that. So let's see what else we've got. Um, there's a cute piece. Maybe we could stick that there, right? And then we can just glue this part down right there and then leave it like a little tuck. So, um, I'm going to ink this up just a little bit. You're not going to see the back side, so no big deal. I think I should ink this up too. Whoa. So I'm just going to ink, lightly ink around the edges. This is one of my favorite pieces of the ephemera because it's got, you probably can't, the camera's, I don't know if it's going to pick it up. You see that little sliver of green right there? It's like, it's like folded paper. I don't know. It's just, there's something really cute about the detail in this. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to do this, something like that. Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take, what am I going to use? I'm going to use Fabri-Tac. Um, you could also use your art glitter glue. Well, maybe if it's going to focus my camera, I don't know if it's, if it needs a tune up or what, but you can also use this to do this part. Uh, but I'm going to use my Fabri-Tac because it's cold now and that's kind of a PVA based glue and you can't really get your hands on it uh, because you can't, it'll, it'll get messed up in shipping because of the freezing part. You can't ship it while it's cold. So I'm just going to use the Fabri-Tac for now, but you can use whatever, um, whatever wet glue you have. You don't have to use what I'm using. So I'm just going to slide this under there. I don't know what angle I want it to be at. Maybe like that. Right. And then, yeah, I think this would be super cute. And then I'm going to just tack this down on this side, I think, and not even, I don't even think I'm going to go all the way down or all the way up. I'm just going to go right here, just right there, and tack that down. So I thought it would be cute to do like a tag stuffed on the side. And it would be, if, if we had more pages going, we could use like the large cutoff pieces and it would actually fit very nicely here. Um, but I don't have enough cut. I just have the one. So uh, I don't want to use that because that's this, that's this one right here. So I don't want to use that one yet. So I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to use one of these bigger sheets from the, um, build embellishments. Let's see here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half and we're just going to see what it looks like. It may not look like what I want it to look like. So let's just fold this puppy in half. So it'll be like a double sided tag and then it could just slide under there like that. Okay. I like it. So I'm going to glue this together. I need to leave my glue. It's almost, I'm almost out. So I need to leave it on its side so that it'll, I don't have to wait for it to come out so much. 
So I'm doing my little swirly technique just to spread the glue out. And that way you don't use as much glue. It just kind of disperses it better. Uh, and I'm going to do that real quick. And then do a little smish smish. It doesn't even bother me that it's a little longer than the page. I guess I could, if I wanted to, I could trim it down a little bit. Um, I haven't decided yet if that's what I want to do. I might, I might trim it down. We'll see. Okay, so that's cute. I like that. So I'm going to ink this up just lightly on both sides. See, this is why I called these build embellishments because you kind of just layer and just build um, something, you know, out of different miscellaneous pieces. And I really like that. So I'm thinking I like the idea of maybe doing a tag thing here. So let's see. Um, maybe what I'll do is I'll just do like a whole reinforcement thingy, my bob here and then we can just do some baker's twine what would look best let's do the let's do the green so i'm just going to guess at around about where the center is y'all know how good i am at that and i'm going to take my hole punch Punch through both of those, flip it over, and put another one on the back side here because it is a double sided tag. And then seam binding, not seam binding, I'm sorry. And some Baker's twine. I think I'll use, I think I'll use the black. So just a little piece. I don't need a big one. Like this. Just loop it through there. God, see that looks cute. Doesn't that look cute? I like it. I like it a lot. Maybe add, let's maybe add a sticker too. Let's see. Let's see. We could do maybe something at the bottom. See what it looks like. Let's see. This is also from the ephemera pack. Maybe we should do it up here. I know that's not stuck all the way down. Ah, it kind of looks distracting. I didn't stick. Let's see. All right, let's do it at the bottom just to add something because remember this is going to be under that flap so we don't want it to be too thick so we probably shouldn't add uh, flowers and things so I'm just going to stick this on there that says remember I like it so we, when it goes in here like this oh well let's see if that tag is going to be a problem I might have to shorten the tag just slightly. Why won't this go in? I don't think the tag is causing that big of a problem. Well. Yeah, we're going to have to shorten this up, but that's okay. That is not a big deal. So I'm just going to, I didn't put anything on the, so I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm just going to cut like a ragged edge. No big deal. Let's try that again. Do I just do the same thing? There. That's cute. I like that. I like that a lot. All right. And then I don't think, I don't think I'm going to put anything. I feel like I should put something back here, but I don't know what yet, so I'm just going to leave it be. I really like that. 
I like that a lot. I kind of want to, I kind of want to add, it might be crazy. I kind of want to add a little um, tag thing there, maybe not green. I'm doing it, why not? Let's do it, what'd I do with my little, there we are. Um, let's do it. What does one of the black ones look like? Or one of the gray ones? Or what about one of these neutral colors? I kind of want it to stand out just a little bit. Let's use the black. And then we can use the gray Baker's Twine. We all know I'm not going to be able to get this in the center. There's no way. Okay. With my hole punch. It's just an office hole punch. Flip it around. Ooh, I could put a color one on the back. Let's do that. Let's do. Let's, should we do the green or should we do a neutral? Let's do a neutral. Why not? Right? Just to add interest. All these little details really do um, make a difference. Then let's get a little bit of Baker's twine. So cute. Right? So cute. I like it. And then you could write, um, you could literally write on here if you wanted to. Like, for example, I've got Tombow Mono pens. Um, and my camera, of course, is not going to, there we go. I've got some Tombow Mono pens, and these things are, are what I do my brush lettering with, and I love these things. So, um, let's write on. This one is N55. It's the gray. So, on this. This day, right? Oh, that kind of looks like a frowny face, don't it? Let's, we don't want that. <laughs> so I just wrote on this day, and then I think just for another little detail, I think I'll take a sharpie. This is just a sharpie pen. This is in medium, and I think I'll just kind of highlight, or not highlight, but like, how would, how would you describe this? Like accent part of the lettering, just so it stands out a little bit. So on this day, and then you can journal on the front and back um, what you did. Let's write today's date. Today is, what is today? Today is, uh, it doesn't look like, December 6th. So I'm going to write December 6th. This is, oh, I put 12. <laughs> oh my goodness. It is not the 12th year, is it? It's the 17th. Jeez. It looks like, well, anyway, so now we know the day I actually started this album. <laughs> so now we know when I started this album, and now for the future, when we're done with this album, we can go back and we can say that's how long it took us <laughs> to record this album. Um, anyways, all right, so that's just cute. I think that's cute. You could have wrote on this day here, but remember there's a little tuck here, um, and this flips open. I like it. And then these are big spaces for like big pictures and stuff. So I think I think we'll leave the rest of it plain. I really like the way that looks. I really like the way that um, embellishing turned out. So let's turn our attention to this part, the front part. Okay, so I was thinking about using some flowers here in this bottom corner and one of these little stick pins, these little memo pins from Tim Holtz that I told you guys about. So I'm thinking about using like a little cluster of flowers and having this stick in there and then having, I had this on there when I showed it to you uh, in the last video. 
like that, right? But I was thinking about putting like a journaling card with it. So like one of the smaller ones, I just think it would be cute. Like a layered, like a layered look, you know? And what would be cute about this is you could make this up and then you could take this off to journal whatever it is that your picture is about that you stuck here. I think that would be cute. Um, let me see, what do I like? I'm trying to decide. I do like this little love, so I think I'm going to leave that on there. Um, what about that? Not the red, but what about this one? This might be cute. And then we can pull in some of these flowers at the bottom. Let's try that. Let's see what that looks like. So, let's see. So I only pulled out the flowers that were flat enough. This pack's got some flatter flower, flatter flowers. <laughs> so, I think, um, let's see. What do we got here? I'm just going to go ahead and open it up. I'm going to put that plastic bag somewhere else. And... I think. Aren't these cute? Look at these little butterflies. They're adorable. I'm not going to use them on this page. I don't know why my camera won't focus. Come on, camera. Sheesh. Look at those flowers. Aren't they cute? They're not flowers. Aren't they precious? But I'm not going to use it on this page, but I just wanted to show you how cute they are. I don't know. You never know. I might. Okay. So I was thinking about using some of these. Let me dump these out, too. I don't guess I have to dump them all out, do I? But, too late. So we could do, like, a little cluster of flowers. Something like that. And that. Just a little. Just a little something. Um, now I'm feeling like this might be too tall for what I want to do. Yeah, this piece might be too tall. So let's go with a smaller piece, just to see what it looks like. Maybe I need to put some more flowers on there. Yeah, I kind of like the way that looks. What do you guys think? I know, I wish that there was... This, this, I have these little, these little flowers. Um, but I don't want to do too much. I like that. I like that. Let's do that. This is one of those situations where you just need to commit. So I'm going to ink these up. Just so, this one you can't really... I'm going to go ahead and ink the back side too. Because if you take it off of the thing, or you flip it over or whatever, you'll be able to see it. I'll ink this up. Both sides, just in case. Alright. I like it. I'm going to glue my flowers down and then we'll go from there. So I'm going to start with the biggest one. I'm going to use my fabric tack. Put a nice little glob. Do you notice that these flowers have gold on them versus silver? I don't know. I don't know how that happened. It's kind of odd, but I didn't design it, so I don't know. I kind of want this to be under here. I kind of feel like, should we put something here? Let's see what we got. Like a, like a word thing? Well, <laughs> no. Oh, wait, that's too big. List. Handmade, does that really go with what we're doing? Um, let's see. Hmm, what about my chipboard stickers? Let's check those out. We do like totally sparkle. Pretty sparkle, precious. Um, love, and I like that one. Let's see what that looks like. So these are chipboard stickers. So we could have this coming out. Or have it like right underneath. I like that. I'm going to ink it. Just a little bit. We could have it like right here. That's cute. I like it. Okay. And then I just need to decide. 
Oh, I might have to put some glue on that chipboard sticker, I think. Sophie, no. What do we think of that? That looks cute. I like it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the end of this stick pin, just to stick it down in there. Just so it holds, really. like that should I? I think it finally stuck down. That is cute. Look at that. Something so simple. So simple. And while we're going all out here, should we add a little bling to something? Should we should we should we? Should we add um Cute. If I had my little bows, that'd be cute too. Isn't that cute? I like it. All right, let's flip it back here. Do we want to do anything to this side, do we think? Or what about here? Okay, I think I do want to maybe add something to this pocket, maybe here. Um, and I was looking at my different little bits of things, and I kind of like, kind of like that one. Because, you know, what's great about these embellishments, these uh, build embellishments, is you can print them off as many times as you want. So, I kind of like that. Now, I was, I got the scraps. So, these are where I'm keeping my scraps. Everything that I cut off. So, this I cut off uh, as when I uh, trimmed out the main base. So, I was thinking about, I was thinking about doing like a tag. You know what? I'm just going to do it. I mean, what's the worst thing that could happen, right? So I'm just going to cut a piece of that off, stick it back in there, and I'm maybe even going to rip this bottom piece here. Maybe do a flower right here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ink these up. Ink this one up. And again, this would be a great place for journaling. So, okay, so now I want to add, <laughs> I want to add a whole reinforcement there. Which one do I want to add? So if this is closed, it's going to look like that. Maybe I'll do a pink one on there. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to put one on the other side because you're not going to see it. So I'm going to put a pink one there. And then, should I use gray or black? Let's use gray. Baker's twine. Don't need that much. So awesome to have everything just right here where I can just play and fiddle. I like that. I like it a lot. So, what did I decide here? How, was, how did I have this, you guys? Did it look like this? What did it look like? Did it look like this? So, I'm kind of thinking it would make a cute, like, little tuck spot. Maybe, like, this. And maybe put a flower here. Let's see. 
Maybe I should get one of these out. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna have to do like um, maybe not a flower. I feel like I might compete a little bit with that. So maybe not a flower. Maybe not a flower. Let's see. Let's pull these suckers over here. Might get another chip bar. Oh, what about? That might be too much. Baker's twine. Maybe all too big. a little too dark for this page so what if we use let's see let me move this too i don't know i'm kind of i'm kind of digging the two what if we used sweet hmm. oh that's cute this one right here let's do it is it two? It is two, but I like that little heart in there, so we are going to leave it. Oh, it's not coming out. Um, yeah, you are. I guess I'm gonna have to add it in after I put this, after I put this down. I'm gonna just ink that up just ever so slightly. I know I haven't glued this down yet, but I think it'll be okay. Or should I leave the little heart sticker out? I like that, that's so cute. Nope, the heart sticker's going in. Oh, you can't hardly see it, but it's going, it's going. All right, I like it. Now, let's glue this down. Oh, it's not glued at all. I forgot. Hang on, waiting on the glue, doo doo doo. I should have got me a new bottle out so I'm just gonna do the bottom again and just gonna stick it right there. Ooh yes I like it. I might have to I might have to glue it a little bit more. Let's glue it a little bit higher up just so it doesn't and maybe even those little tails. There we go. What do we think? Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. All right. So then the next question is, do we put something behind there or do we leave it be for now? We might leave it be for now because I want to like use different stuff, you know, like some of the different pattern papers that we're going to be cutting into. I like it. What do you guys think? Do you like it? I do. Okay, guys, I think we're going to leave it like this. I think I like it just like it is. I really, really like it. I really, really like it. I really like the way it turned out. Totally digging it. Um, I'm so excited about making this new album. It's so different than the other two already. And I don't know if y'all can tell that or not, but I can. So I like it. So the next video, we'll do the backside of this page. So let me know what you think, you guys, in the comments below. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Um, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, go ahead and hit this little button right there. And you may want to hit the little bell notification thingy so every time I upload a video, you will get notified and that way you won't miss any of the pages. So um, you can also check out any of these other videos that you see on the screen. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.